Supercross Series pitted established veterans like defending Supercross and Daytona champ Jeff Stanton against a group of fearless rookies led by Yamaha with Damon Bradshaw and Series points leader Jeff Matasevich. Through the first five rounds, the rookies had turned in the most impressive performances, but with the exception of Matasevich, they were erratic and unpredictable. The veterans, on the other hand, started slow but were gaining. Heading into the Daytona event, Stanton carried third place points behind Suzuki's Larry Ward, who was in second, and points leader Matasevich. With the race underway, though, it was Stanton doing the leading. The 21-year-old champion from Sherwood, Michigan, had earlier stated the rough Daytona track suited his style and flat predicted his second Daytona win. Behind Stanton, Jean-Michel Bale, number 22, a world champion from France, held second, while Dean Matson aboard the yellow Suzuki and Jeff Matasevich fought over third. Matasevich, number 20, won that battle and set his sights on the leaders. Matson, meanwhile, continued to have his hands full as Kawasaki's Jeff Ward, rider number three, put the heat on and on the roughest part of the track made the pass. From that point on, the Daytona Supercross turned into a chess match. Riders gained and lost ground, but few positions were exchanged. The best matchup of the day turned out to be a duel between Kawasaki teammates Ward, number three, and Matasevich. Ward made the pass, but series leader Matasevich came right back to regain his spot. Fittingly, the Honda-sponsored main event turned into a Honda route. Mike Kudrowski eventually moved up to third behind teammates Bale in the number two spot, and Stanton, who rode the rough Daytona track like it was his own backyard. The Team Honda rider eventually lapped up to eighth place in his drive for the checkered flag. For Stanton, it was win number two of the series and a definite morale booster. Yeah, it helps. It's a confident booster for sure, but uh, you just can't get too confident or overconfident. You just have to take it one at a time and work hard for each individual race. After six rounds, Kawasaki's Jeff Matasevich continues to lead the Camel Supercross Series with Larry Ward second and defending champion as well as factory trucks to support their efforts. Stars like former National Enduro champion Terry Cunningham, off-road ace Larry Rossler, defending National Enduro champion Randy Hawkins, and this unidentified vintage class rider that unloaded an ancient bull taco with a badly sagging suspension. All told, the entry list for this year's event, the 40th annual, topped 420 riders. The draw? Well, the allegation Enduro is just plain fun. It's part of Speed Week, and more than anything else, it's tradition. For the uninformed, and we'll make this as simple as possible, the Enduro competition consists of leaving point A on a motorcycle and following a series of arrows. The trick here is you never know where the arrows will lead you. One more thing, while following the arrows, a predetermined time schedule must also be followed. Points are deducted for being early or late. Back to point A, and look who's leaving the start line, our unidentified vintage class ride. Good luck there, fella. We'll see you on down the trail. Enduro competitions are usually longer than the number of miles that can be coaxed from a single tank of gas. Thus, gas stops are mandatory. The good riders get there early, allowing pit crews plenty of time to check their bikes while they refresh themselves and even change clothes. Notice, I said good riders. This year's Alligator Enduro, promoted by the Daytona Dirt Riders Motorcycle Club, was much easier and shorter than in previous years due to land closures and lack of rain. Still, the cross-country course that consisted mainly of Palmetto-lying trails took its toll and points away from the field. Who did best? Well, the top award fell to National Enduro Champion Team Suzuki's Randy Hawkins from Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. And who did the worst? We'd just as soon not say. He was, however, on a bull taco. For Motor World, a more Mark McKay. <laughs> That's the beauty of Enduros. Anyone can ride them. Now for a Moto World program reminder. In April, look for the debut of a week.